youth renewal is turning back the clock in your physical body and this is not only something God does it's very important to him as we will see the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstra thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us youth renewal needs to be a part of your belief system your belief system is what you believe that God does who he is what he does say who he is, who he is. What, he does. what he does youth renewal needs to be a part of your belief system that this is something God does renews youth and then not only is it something God does it's something God does for you yes. right that's part of your belief system you see that yes now do you believe that it's something God does yes do you believe it's something God does for you yes. if not you need to that's what this message is about well I'm convinced that there are things that you can't have or walk in unless you get this straight youth renewal things you'll never know things you'll never experience until you get this working in your life say get this, get this. working in my life, in my life. Youth, renewal. youth renewal things God has for you but it requires this for you to do it are you here yes you must have this to have the things that go with it there's things that go with youth renewal that you can't have the things unless you have the youth renewal does this make sense yes now I'm not speaking about longevity I've heard many messages from preachers on longevity this isn't longevity this is youth renewal youth renewal is exactly that it renews your youth it sets you back in time to when you were younger mm -hmm. he quickens you so that your physical body is a younger age that's youth renewal longevity just means you live a long time now you will live longer most likely if your youth is renewed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's not the same thing it's different well I never heard anybody preach on youth renewal I know that's why I'm doing it yes. it's something God does and it's something if you believe him he will do for you yes. all right is this fun yet yes. youth renewal is turning back the clock in your physical body and this is not only something God does it's very important to him as we will see yes. are you here mm -hmm. Psalms 103 let's read verse 1 bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits but if you forget some of them then you're not obeying that verse of Scripture we're supposed to forget not all his benefits yes. say his benefits. his benefits now see his benefits come from him they come from knowing him and walking with him mm -hmm. and obviously we're going to be talking about the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today right mm -hmm. and some of his benefits will be listed here mm -hmm. if he lists them here we can have them verse 3 who forgives all thine iniquities mm -hmm. is that good yes. love that one who heals one of your diseases yeah. all of your diseases who heals all your diseases Holy Ghost God in the earth today yes Jesus paid the price for your sins Jesus paid the price for your healing but the Holy Ghost is the God in the earth today that does the healing who heals all thy diseases all of them all all 
verse 4 who redeems thy life from destruction who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles he satisfies your mouth so it'll have something to do with your mouth and then he renews your youth mm -hmm. say he renews my youth he renews my youth say he forgives my sins he forgives my sins he heals all my diseases he heals all my diseases and renews my youth and renews my youth should we forget the last one no no we're told not to forget that this is something he does and if it's not that important he wouldn't have said it especially in the context of these redemptive blessings That's right. he included it and here we see that God does these things now most people go yeah God forgives sins and a few people would say yeah god heals diseases mm -hmm. less people would say he heals all sicknesses and diseases mm -hmm. i don't know why it's in the same verse mm -hmm. right he does that he heals them all he heals them all he heals them all he forgives them all he heals them all but how many people believe that god renews youth now renews youth is not just giving you a long life i know there are scriptures that say that and he'll satisfy you with long life that's not this verse of scripture this one says he renews youth meaning he takes something that's old er mm -hmm. and makes it young -er. mm -hmm. so god the holy ghost does these things say things, things. they're things he does mm -hmm. So the question is, does he do these things for you? First mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter two and verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit, which is of God, who is the spirit, which is of God, Holy the Ghost. Holy Ghost, that we might know the things. Mm -hmm. We just talked about the things one of which is youth renewal and we received the holy ghost that we might know the things that are freely given to us of him yes. youth renewal is freely given to us of him but we have to receive him so we can know the things yes. the things don't come apart from him so it's something something some thing that the holy ghost has and the holy ghost does mm -hmm. to those who know him and receive him yes. and walk with him mm -hmm. that's why we're strong on it here we know it's one of the things he does say i'm strong on youth renewal, I'm strong on youth renewal. what's that make you younger <laughs> yes. we, when we receive the holy ghost we walk with him we know him as god we get to know the things one of the things say one of the things, of the things that, we get to know that we get to know is youth renewal, is youth renewal. Yes. comes from him it's his thing mm -hmm. i didn't make it up it's his thing romans chapter 8 and then verse 11 he shall quicken your mortal body it's what he does it's his thing it's one of his things but it's certainly his thing he's a living god he's the holy ghost and he's a god of quickening he's a god of youth renewal mm -hmm. say the holy ghost, holy ghost. Is, a god is a god of youth renewal, youth renewal. and if you know him mm -hmm. he'll do it for you first corinthians chapter 6 and then let's look at verse 19 what know you not that your body your body what know you not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost mm -hmm. verse 20 therefore glorify god in your body who's god in your body 
so your job is to glorify him in your body That's right. what does he do well he forgives my sins he heals all of my diseases mm -hmm. all of that's glorifying God Holy Ghost in your body and he renews your youth yes. it's what he does it's who he is it's part of his thing yes. it's the thing we get to know when we know him it should be part of your faith this glorifies him glorify God in your body Genesis chapter 18 now this is when God came down and he visited uh, Abraham and Sarah remember he'd promised them that they'd have heirs mm -hmm. and as of yet they had no kids so he comes down Genesis chapter 18 verse 9 and they said unto him unto Abraham where is Sarah thy wife and he said behold she's in the tent and he said i will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life and lo sarah thy wife shall have a son and sarah heard it in the tent door which was behind him mm -hmm. so sarah's listening to this conversation mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. right mm -hmm. and god said to abraham i'm going to re it says return to you the at the time of life but you know I, I feel like that's really a sad translation it literally means I'm going to turn back the time of life for her yes that's what it means because he doesn't return he doesn't come in the same way in return he said you know what I'm gonna come back later and she's gonna have a baby that's not what he said he says I certainly will turn back the time of now why would he God certainly turned back the time of life for her because that's what he does yes. that's how he do <laughs> by the way is this a big part of our faith is what ha what's going on here integral to the faith of Abraham and Sarah and part of our faith it's huge it verse 10 and he said I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life and lo Sarah thy wife shall have a son and Sarah heard it in the tent door which was behind him and now Sarah and now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in years mm -hmm. when God said this Abraham and Sarah were old say old, old. and well stricken in years do you need any interpretation for that no they were just old they were right and look what he says and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women meaning she was beyond the the age of childbearing mm -hmm. and way beyond it mm -hmm. so was Abraham mm -hmm. and so here Sarah hears this from behind the curtain look what she did and therefore Sarah laughed within herself saying after I'm waxed old shall I have pleasure my Lord being old also she was laughing at him that's not gonna happen this has ceased to be this is in your Bible yes. I want to make sure so God said he's gonna turn back the time of life he will turn it back he will rewind the time of life so that Sarah is no longer too old and Abraham's no longer too old mm -hmm. what does that mean he set back in time yes. he set her age back to child bearing years he turned back the time of life mm -hmm. this is not longevity did he say I'm just gonna come I'm gonna come along and Sarah don't worry you're gonna live really long <laughs> that wouldn't have helped her she wouldn't have had a child she wouldn't have had Isaac this is not longevity I I could say that really loud but I think you're getting it this is not longevity this is turning back the time of life in the physical body you can believe for longevity all you want and it won't turn back the time of life in your physical body until you start believing that God turns back the time of life in your physical body he does this does he do it for you 
we can know him this way so he turned back the time of life this is not longevity even though sarah eventually lived to 127 years old mm -hmm. the longevity often will be the result of your time being turned back yes. Just trying to make my case here genesis chapter 22 abimelech king of gerar sent and took sarah this is in chapter 20 right remember we were reading over in chapter 18 where it said abraham and sarah were old and well stricken in years mm -hmm. two chapters later we see a king calling for sarah and adding her to his harem mm -hmm. what happened to sarah her youth was being renewed she became very attractive i imagine she was attractive in the first place but then she went back to being very very attractive mm -hmm. so attractive that a king right. wanted to, to take her into his harem are you here yes. yes and it wasn't just because he really liked old well stricken in years <laughs> women no. what would what good would that be part of the job of the harem would be to have children anyway like it or not this is foundational to our faith i'm reading out of genesis the stories and and illustrations of abraham and sarah and and their faith we're of the faith of abraham by faith abraham and sarah walked with god in this by faith abraham and sarah walked with god in this youth renewal and it pleased him mm -hmm. by faith abraham and sarah walked with god in this youth renewal and it pleased him are you here yes where's the church on this silence mm -hmm. maybe some preaching on longevity but where are they on this youth renewal something god does youth renewal is one of the benefits that we're not supposed to forget and the church has completely been silent over it does that please god no can't but you when you start to believe god for youth renewal and you start glorifying him in your body in this capacity and way mm -hmm. that glorifies him that pleases him so when you begin calling it that way younger it was so it was so we call things that be not as though it were mm -hmm. we call things that be not as though it were mm -hmm. are you getting this what is were in the past were is in the past yes. say were is, the past. were is in the past we call things that be not as though it were Romans chapter 4 verse 17 as it is written I have made thee a father of many nations before him or like him mm -hmm. like him God whom he believed who quickens quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were and what did Abraham have to do he had to like God say mm -hmm. the same thing yes. that's how we walk with the Holy Ghost is by speaking in agreement with him what do you think you're gonna say about your physical body when you're walking with the Holy Ghost speaking in agreement with him mm -hmm. you call it younger and when you begin calling it younger so it were are you here yes. Abraham called it younger as though it were <laughs> yes. do you remember how you were you should be able to call it that way then yes. you call your body as though it were younger say I call my body, call my body as, though as though it were younger is this in your Bible is this part of your faith yes. it's something God does and it's something God does for you 
if you say so the church hasn't been saying so and the church hasn't been experiencing it saying so is part of your belief system it's how you do things it's how you walk with God the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today he does this he renews youth and we walk with him by saying words by speaking in agreement with him he's quickening your physical body you need to speak in agreement with him let's read on there it says uh, as it is written i have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed even god who even god who god who what quickens the dead and calls those things that be not as though they were well we know this specifically was him making abraham younger and being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old yes. neither yet the deadness of sarah's womb mm -hmm. he staggered not at the promise of god through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to god, to god. Yes. what gives glory to god youth renewal in your physical body yes. did you get that mm -hmm. glorify God in your body giving glory to God in your body therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness meaning it pleased God when Abraham started saying this was his youth renewed no, no he had to call it as though it were my physical body is a perfect specimen of divine healing and health and youth renewal that glorifies God well, how can you say that watch my physical body is a perfect specimen of healing health and youth renewal and like I said it's not because I feel like it or even look like it I call things that be not as though they were even as though they once were it's fundamental to my faith it's fundamental to me walking with the holy ghost as god in the earth today and glorifying him in my physical body i call my youth renewed it's part of my faith yes say i call my youth renewed, I call my youth renewed. it's part of my faith, of my faith. Of my faith. did you see that and you calling your youth renewed is part of your belief system it's how you walk with the god with god the holy ghost yes. i call my youth renewed i call my partners youth renewed everyone who's joined up with this ministry i call their youth renewed it's part of our faith it's part of what we believe it is what the holy ghost does i hope i showed you that it's what he does and he does it to you when you begin to agree with him and say that he does it for you yes. Yes. say this I call my youth renewed, I call my youth renewed. Holy, Ghost, Holy Ghost I thank you, I thank you. That, you that you are being glorified in my physical body, my physical body. By, my by my youth being renewed, being renewed. in Jesus name Jesus if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say it after me holy ghost, holy ghost. you are god in the earth today you not only quicken my physical body you quicken my finances you make them alive you cause me to prosper you cause me to be wealthy you take me to a new level of wealth in jesus name amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth